Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's a promo Friday once again on FC25, but it's not necessarily the new cards and packs that we're looking forward to today, guys. We are looking forward to an evolution that has been promised to come today that is fully inspired by Jude Bellingham himself. We got to talk about that. Now, of course, it is a normal promo Friday, so we do have new Trailblazers Team 2 coming into packs today, and of course, a big SBC, we believe, and of course, other content, but how is that going to impact the market? Is it going to live up to the hype, or will prices go up in some areas can we make some investments because today's content maybe won't be that good a lot to discuss today guys if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's start by looking at the content that dropped yesterday on thursday in fc25 we have a brand new season and the first on this day hero sbc let's start with the sbcs guys firstly this robbie keen sbc which now it is confirmed the on this day heroes and icons that we will see in the future on this game are just like flashback cards that we've known on other versions of regular current real life footballers in FC because it's just like a flashback to a certain day of some sort of achievement or some sort of period in their career where they played really well. For this Robbie Keane, they upped his pace and they upped his dribbling and they decreased his shooting and his passing from his regular hero card. And of course, they gave him power shot plus. Now, here's the conversation when it comes to this card. Eight squads seems like a lot. Low rated though, once again, EA is going with high number of squads, low level of rating, 283 rated squads, 484 rated squads, and 285s with a few team of the weeks required. One thing that's nice about having more squads is that you get more packs back, more chances to make your coins back from doing an SBC like this, and they get the value of the SBC where I guess they wanted it at 300,000 coins because 84s and 85s aren't that expensive, but they're at least up a little bit because of the content that we have in this game right now. This is the same price as his 88 card was, so... I don't think it's bad. I feel like a lot of people are undecided, just like me. Look at the upvote and downvote here. It's kind of even. Same thing on the SBC percentage voting as well. This is how I'm looking at this one right now. I have interest in this card for future evolutions because he played for Spurs, you know, Koi's. But also, I think I want to wait before I commit to doing this SBC and submitting any fodder into it. We got SBCs coming this weekend, maybe a Musiala coming today, probably cards coming in the next couple days that I would rather hold off on putting my very, very important fodders cards into this. I would rather wait to see what else comes out before deciding on what I want to do. So that's what I would advise you guys to do as well if you're not sure on this one. I know it's not that expensive because it's lower rated squads and it seems cheaper and there's 34 days to do it so you can get it done over time for sure. But I would just say wait, save that fodder if there's nothing good that comes out today of course you could put it into the max 88 base icon but after getting burned once by this i don't think i'm doing this again but speaking of this sbc it did refresh yesterday this was the biggest sbc yesterday for sure that everybody was excited about same max 88 base icon 85 86 86 87 and fodder is going up but it's going up mostly on the 88 rated cards guys these are almost 20,000 coins and they were 16 to 17k yesterday around rewards i think it was people didn't have as many of these after rewards so they needed to go buy them and that is why you see this big spike after this spc refreshed 85s all the way up to 88s though here's what i would tell you to do people are going to be getting on the game today and this is probably still the most enticing spc for a lot of people playing this game I think fodder is probably going to rise up until the content drop. I don't necessarily love holding on to fodder after content because, you know, new promo. There's going to be new packs in the store. People are going to open those. And, of course, there are weekend league rewards people will be obtaining today, too. So that's supply, tradable supply coming to the market. But also at the same time, people are going to use those weekend league rewards and coins to go do this SBC while it is still out. So I don't know if I expect fodder to crash today. But if you want to go the safe route, sell your fodder before the content drop. I would expect it rises up close to content, then maybe drops off a bit. We'll see what happens after the SBCs and everything else happens today on this game too. But that's just the way that I would go about it if I had some fodder because you will be in the green if you bought it during Rivals because it is definitely up since then. Now, let's talk about the other content really quick in SBCs from yesterday. We had another very cheap French striker, uh, Florian Talvin, who is a World Tour card, Syria in French. Interesting play styles. I don't think his left stick dribbling will be that great because he's 5'11", a little bit taller, and decent stats. Nothing super crazy. False 9+, plus, advanced forward plus, but the price here is the best part. 81, 82, and 83 rated squads. Easy to get done. No problems there. Out for two weeks, so do that one or skip it if there's nothing there that interests you. 
or that Talvin card. Also, it was a Thursday. We had marquee matchups. Nothing super crazy to look at with this. Just a typical set of marquee matchups for a premium gold players pack. So if you want to go ahead and get that one done, that is there. Now, let's talk about the season pass, guys, because there's a lot of opinions on the season two Centurions. But the one thing that I want to note right away, I don't want to spend a ton of time on this because I'm sure you've heard a lot about it already, but this is a short season. And I think that's why some of the rewards don't seem to be as wowing as season one was it's a very short season guys it's only 27 days and it is kind of cool that there's a promo that we have no idea about except for these cards here now centurion's cards it's kind of a promo card before the promo is even out this debu martinez card here and then of course the malin and the Grealish that are available later on in the season those are kind of the highlights of this i think one of the things that people are being frustrated about right now is the fact that these cards are loans early and then later on, it's the same exact players in the season at the end. I think a lot of people, and I understand this for sure, would have been like, wait, why can't we have some different players inside of here, not just reusing the same players as a loan and then getting them untradeable at the end? Which, of course, right now, that's probably the biggest amount of confusion that is going on with this new season is if you go to the back and take a look at these cards, the Grealish and the Malin and the Martinez, as you see there, they still look like lone players. But EA tweeted yesterday, this was one of the things, EA, EA FIFA Direct was busy yesterday on Twitter because there were some mistakes. They said that the issue is visual only. The player items sent to your club will not be lone items when unlocked. So I guess the part I like about this is you get to try them at level 8 and 9. Test out who you want on loan, and then at the end of the season, you get to pick one of the two cards and take it with you as an untradeable. I think Malin's going to be chosen by a lot of people, but Grealish is also a really sick card. Malin's just kind of becoming a FIFA legend for his Evos last year and how crazy his cards have been in game. So I think that's a decent part of the season there. Again, I don't think the rewards are that insane in terms of the players because once again, it is a lot shorter. By the time we get to Black Friday, we'll have a brand new season starting. But there are some good packs as always, a 75 times 187 double, a Centurion's Cosmetic Evo, and then some other really good packs, as well as a Taram and a Billy Icon card on a four days loan in here, which is actually kind of nice as well. And then of course you do have the D1 Arkema cards in here with Carpenter being the best one. Interesting how EA did not put these in milestones, but I guess you're going to get SP to get these, so the people that want to get these can very easily get them. And then you do have the Taliso, who I skipped over as we went to the back. Not a great card, not a bad card. Just kind of in there in the middle, but he is Holy Gang and very good for links as well with Lyon and the French League One McDonald's links there. So not a bad season. I know a lot of people are disappointed in it, but I think we also have to realize it's a lot shorter. And it's just by the look at the looks of things with these cards, by the end of November, playstyle pluses are going to be a common thing on a lot of cards and it doesn't look like the power curve is going to explode a ton but of course once we get to black friday and we get to the next season it probably will so there is a lot to look at to look forward to i guess there the biggest thing with the season yesterday is the changes in division rivals they of course dropped this down relegated us two different divisions i went from div 2 to div 4 i wonder if the next relegation will be only one division since it's a shorter season but they changed how many points you need each week to get your rewards of course it's still 15 points or five wins to get the weekly reward in fact they actually buffed the rewards for each of the five win sections in here you get better rewards now for just getting five wins which is a tremendous w we love that ea ggs that's awesome but they made it less points to get the reward upgrade instead of 45 points or 15 wins it is now 35 points or what would that be like just below 12 wins right so it's a lot easier. I mean, not a lot easier, but a couple wins less each week is going to save you some time and you still get some pretty good rewards. I don't think they mess with the rewards too much on the weekly reward upgrade side of things. It was mostly the weekly reward, the lower level one that got a buff in terms of those rewards. So that is nice. Less games we have to play for the reward upgrade and better rewards for the five win option is great. So overall, that's the season. I don't think it's insane. I think it's just there and it's fine and it is okay. Okay, now let's talk about today. Let's get to the big news. What we're looking forward to today on Friday with Trailblazers team number two. Starting off, the new cards that are going to be coming in packs. I honestly, guys, think after looking at this leak that team one is clear, but not by a ton. I think this is a solid team of players coming today, and we have the full team leaked as per usual. This is what Sheriff's post here, the full entire team coming today. Vinny Jr. headlining it. Pop. 
from the Fraun Bundesliga. That card could be sneaky good. It'll depend on the play style plus. By the way, these are predicted stats once again, guys. Predicted ratings and everything. It is just the players that are going to be in this promo that is the biggest news. Bremer, I just traded his inform yesterday. Very popular card this year. Syria and Brasilia links. He's getting a center back card. Usman Dembele, really interested to see what play style plus they give him. Luis Diaz, Grimaldo, please give him a pace boost. If he has that, that could be a really insane left back item in the Bundesliga. We've got Trinity Rodman, Gioro, Marmouche, Wara Dynamic Image, Zakaria, Lucy Bronze, Melo, Borja Sainz, Man, and Agbadu. I don't know. I think the fodder cards from this team do not look as good as last week's team, but it does once again come down to the playstyle pluses that they give them and the upgrades that they give this team too. Again, we'll probably see some leak stats as we get closer and closer to content today. That's kind of how it always goes on a promo Friday, right? We get the leaked team and then we get the official stats coming in shortly after that. Again, guys, like we saw with Trailblazers Team 1, I know that not a lot of us are packing promo cards, and that's why in the intro to this video I said that the promo teams coming out each week just feel less and less exciting, and we look at look forward to them less and less. At least I feel like I do. I feel like I look over them almost on every single promo Friday because the pack wheel of these cards just does not seem to move the needle. And how many of these did I pack last week? Did I pack any of this team? I think I maybe hit one. I don't even remember if I hit one, but there was nothing notable, to be honest. But I think that this Trailblazers promo does have better pack weight. Looking at how much supply is on the market for these cards and how much more affordable they are. And if you actually look at the actual math and the percentages that are in the store, I think this promo team has more pack weight than others. It just didn't show up for me and probably for a lot of you guys. But that's one thing to consider with this Trailblazers promo is it is kind of moving the the power curve up for people that have less coins like getting a duran card for 16,000 coins that is an insane striker or this anthony robinson for 100,000 coins and the avail availability to evolve his card too I think this promo really interests a lot of people for the upgrades for the cards it's giving especially with the roll plus pluses and the playstyle pluses but it's not like they're still super packable, but I believe they are more packable, if that makes sense. So I'm really curious to see how these cards come in and fit into that same mold today. Now, like we said, more exciting things are probably going to be had in SBCs and that big evolution that's coming today. This is the only leaked SBC that we have right now. There still could be another leak, but this seems to be, with Rafinha happening last Friday, this seems to be the most likely SBC dropping today. And of course, Musiala, as we talked about, is a huge name for the Bundesliga. The worry I have with this card is his playstyle plus and his gold card being technical plus is great already i hope they don't give him a playstyle plus that is seen as worse he's got five star skills he's got four star weak foot this is a great card at the beginning of the game very meta he's got incisive technical um flair and trickster on his base card i hope they add a couple of regular playstyles to him and then if they're gonna change his playstyle plus incisive maybe tiki taka finesse would be fine I, I don't know what else they would give him like if they give him relentless or like trivella that might be seen as an l but I really hope they do this card nice today. Like, get me excited about some Bundesliga. Give me a reason to go and do this SBC and link him with some of the other Bundesliga and Bayern Munich cards. If that is the case, if he's kind of like Rafinha level in terms of the price and the value meeting at a good spot, I would absolutely say keep a watch on Bundesliga and German players because we've even already seen some of these cards go up in value. And I think that would only continue because, let's be honest, probably ooh, 700k for Kane. He is up big time. Market is up as, as uh, expected, but wow, he's up 100,000 coins since Wednesday when this Musiala was first leaked. So I would expect um, Bayern cards to be very focused on today if this SBC is very good value because not a lot of people probably have the German and or the Bundesliga Bayern links to get this guy in their team. That's one of the reasons why I actually picked up a couple of Stanway at 30K. And as we'll talk about at the end of the video in terms of a market sentiment and how I feel about some of these cards today, some of the low budget ones in here, I just think are a good club stock if you have a lot of coins, just because I think they can actually increase in value. We'll be looking for drops on these today to maybe pick a couple of them up. So definitely watch out. That's the biggest SPC today, guys, is the Musiala. But... There's another SBC that hasn't been leaked yet that could be dropping today too because I believe the Laminia Mall is going away. The voting has ended for La Liga Player of the Month, so we would expect to see Player of the Month 
Lewandowski. We do believe he is going to win. It is not Vinny. Lewandowski had a crazy month. If Vinny wins, I'd be super shocked because I know Foot Sheriff tweeted that out, but it was actually not Foot Sheriff. It was a fraud um, account. It was a fake account um, posing as the real Foot Sheriff. Lewandowski had a crazy month for Barca. Barca had a crazy month themselves. And I think he's going to win player of the month. Watch out for an SBC for him today. It would not be as good as this total rush card. But if there's panic selling on this version, it's kind of the same thing we saw with Barcola, right? Barcola's road to the knockout card on the market's better than his POTM. But the POTM did come out and it is, did cause a bit of a dip on his card and pack. So watch out for a Lewandowski player of the month that could be dropping at some point at content drop or before the content drop today too. And the last thing to mention in terms of SBCs is the very cheap but very fun party bag or the road to the knockouts slash total rush upgrade pack, I believe is slated to, is it going to refresh today? These timers are so off here in this game. It says one day, 10 hours. I think this refresh today has got, because when it was first released, I'm pretty sure it said it was going to refresh in two days. And this was released on Wednesday. So uh, watch out for this one. Again, it's an 82 and an 83 rated squad with one team of the week, which is super duper easy to do. To do. Uh, one thing about team of the weeks that I want to mention every single weekend, we have weekend league rewards that give out tradable team of the week cards. So personally, if I was investing in these for the short term uh, flip, because a lot of these have gone up, I think team of the weeks are 12K or they were 12K. It looks like they're maybe down a little bit now. I would probably sell these if you're looking to get your coins out of them uh, before the content drop today because weekly rewards supply those tradable during the weekend there. But that's kind of the SPC content that we're expecting today. Party bag refresh, Lewa and Musiala. Now let's talk Evos, right? Because I think, I think this is the biggest piece of content that's coming today because Today's evolution is a club member evolution. It's a part of the whole club membership program. We're going to look at the post. I'm sure you've seen it, but we're going to talk about it in depth here in a second. But the reason why I think it's exciting is because the first evolution that we had as a part of this was the club member reward. This is the right back Evo that made Dalo a super crazy card. I even have some cards still here in the club that I should probably consider evolving. I haven't found somebody that I super duper duper want to evolve yet through this because I still have it available, but this one was good. Let's hope that this new one coming today is good as well. It's guys, it's called the, the Jude Bellingham Evo. I don't know what it's exactly going to be called, but it's a whole part of the club membership rewards once again. And the only way you can get this is by already having club membership status, which means that you played FC 24 before September 27th and that you played FC 25 before November 1st. So basically, if this Evo was in the game for you, then this one coming today will be dropping as well. And this is the big thing. This seems like a really good one, right? They're telling us a little bit about this Evo. An Evo inspired by cover star Jude Bellingham. Elevate pace skill moves, weak foot, shooting, defending, and more while unlocking relentless play style plus and playmaker plus plus role. So it's a center attacking mid evolution kind of inspired by Jude Bellingham. And that is why there's potential hype with this because of how good the last one was because EA is making a big deal out of this. And because, I mean, let's be honest, those upgrades Skill move, pace, weak foot, shooting. It sounds like one of those Evos that's going to give a really sizable boost. And it's giving a roll plus plus and a play style plus for Relentless, which is really sick. Now, the question is, what are the requirements? We don't know the requirements right now. There are not any leaks for this. Maybe there will be before content today, but it's a cam or center mid type of Evo. I don't know if it's going to be cam specific or center mid specific. But my question is, is it going to be like we're taking a lower rated gold card and like boosting them up to be pretty crazy, giving them a play style plus and a huge stat boost. We're talking like plus fives, plus sixes, and plus sevens in terms of stats. Or are we going to take somebody who's already kind of established, maybe like a mid to low 80s rated player and give them a plus two and a plus three in terms of stats and the play style plus and the role? That's what we don't know. But it's allegedly all based around Jude Bellingham, of course, since he has the relentless plus and the playmaker plus plus on his card. So that's kind of what it's designed for. But for the actual requirements, we do still not know how this is going to look. Watch out for leaks before content. And I would definitely say if there's rises on cards like center attacking mids, don't be surprised. And if you have something like this in your club, if you're a big Liverpool fan, maybe it's worth stocking up on one of these. But 
again, we have no idea what the requirements are going to be, but I think honestly, that's the most hype piece of content today because EA has been talking about it. They've been hyping it up. And the last club member uh, Evo was actually really good. Let's hope that this is a good one, guys. Let's hope that it is because the Evos on Promo Fridays, even last week before Evolutions were totally fixed, right? We just had Trailblazers Turbo. Last week was not a good time. It's been a hot minute since we had a Promo Friday with a legit hype Evo. So definitely watch out for that because, of course, as always, if the cards that fit it look good, you guys know there's going to be players on the market that move. Let's just say this Curtis Jones fits it today and goes crazy. And he goes extinct at 30,000 coins. And you have like 15 of them on your transfer list. Just a, once again, a note of warning. If you've invested in a card that goes up crazy amounts for an Evo, do not list them all at max price in a very short amount of time. That is a surefire way to get market banned. List them one by one and don't even list at the max price. Like if he's 30K extinct, I would list him at 28 to 29K. Don't chance it. Because something with their system, if you list a bunch of cards that have gone up that much for a certain um, for a certain amount, and then in a short amount of time, the likelihood of you getting banned is very high. So that's just one thing I wanted to mention once again, because if it's a good Evo, it's going to cause movements like that on the market. Now, that's the evolution, which we're going to be very, very closely looking forward to today. Let's talk about objectives as well. We do have a leak. Nuno Tavares is set to come to Ultimate Team soon as a Team 2 objective player. Um, I don't know if this is the official card. I'm guessing that it's not, but a left back in this Serie A, that might actually be a very nice card to get if the stats are good enough, if he has a play style plus, and if he has a good role plus plus two, that's one thing to consider there. Maybe if you have DeMarco, that would be something to be careful about today. If Teo Hernandez is panic sold, I would guarantee you that this card is not going to be as good as Teo Hernandez. But if he is, that could be a trading opportunity because Teo Hernandez is like the best gold left back in the game. His inform is insane too. I would almost guarantee that this card is not going to be as good as him. But maybe for a guy like DeMarco, he could see a bit of a price drop if that objective is really good. And still, guys, we do have this leak outstanding, the Ballon d'Or. Are there going to be any surprises today that would make things crazy, unexpected, not like this maybe normal promo Friday that we're expecting? We have heard no news about this yet. Are there any other SBCs that could be leaked today? That's kind of what we're looking out for. And then also on Fridays, we got to mention this. The store on Fridays is always a pop in place, right? And so is the packs for you section, which last week we had this 150K pack, which was not worth it at all. I was just looking back through some of the pack code. There has not been a single new pack code added that looks like it would be dropped today as a for you pack. I would imagine maybe they refreshed the 10 coin energizer pack, but even in the past couple of weeks, that's been added to the pack code or updated and that's not here. So maybe watch out for a tweet or two, but there are going to be those big trailblazer week two packs in the store. There's probably going to be 100 K packs again, 50 K packs as well. I would imagine those get dropped as a part of today's content. Nothing that we'll be super interested in, of course, um, but those will be there. And that's what we would expect to bring the supply to gold cards and fodder and everything that will be in packs and make some of that part of the market drop today. Now let's end off the video by talking about the market because yesterday as expected as every Thursday is big market rise day icons, heroes, out of pack special cards went crazy once again ggs if you invest there were incredible opportunities across the whole entire market but the big thing that i'm looking at for today is these cards trailblazers team number one they went low with rewards we're talking real low cole palmer was over 550,000 coins yesterday before rewards he went all the way to 420 but it's been a nice rise back and these cards have actually risen really well as people don't expect today to be that game changing of a day on this game in terms of trailblazers team two and i kind of vibe with that that's why i picked up a gabriel yesterday i got a lucky snipe this card looks prime for a rise in my opinion he was down at 320k i picked one up like right here when he was rising at 324 and that's a card that i plan on holding because i think if the content is not good today I could see these cards rising up into this weekend, especially if the team two are really expensive. Most of the time, promo cards coming out on a promo Friday, really tough to pack, really expensive on the market, right? There's a correlation there. Now, I think for this team, the safest investments are some of the cheaper cards. Hemp, Stanway, Hemp's already up. I picked up two Hemp at 36,000 coins. I think you want her under 40K. I think Stanway, 32k is maybe the most that I would pay for her. She's already going up in value. What I would watch for in terms of 
This team today, if you want to make an investment, Pulisic is up. He was 190. Anthony Robinson up 10K. People are investing in him because of the Evo aspect of his card and being one of the best left backs in the Premier League as well. One thing you want to see for an investment on this promo team today is you want to see a drop in price if there's any panic selling leading into the content drop. Maybe there's a surprise today. Maybe there's something that we weren't expecting dropping as an SBC or something like that or an Evo or just, you know, something that could create some panic. If there is any of that today, perfect time to be looking at and maybe picking up one of these cards for your team, for a trade, for a flip, because what is the common trend that we have seen now on Promo Fridays for like the past three or four or five weeks? Prices drop heading into content as people expect good content. People sell cards saying, oh my goodness, it's going to be a crazy Promo Friday today. And what happens? It's mid, right? Especially with no Evos recently. The SBCs have just been okay, even last week, right? And now we do have a good Evo this week. So could that change some things potentially? But when it comes to the promo cards, they're usually expensive, really tough to pack. And that combination makes us look at the SBCs and Evos. And when those aren't super crazy or something catastrophic is happening, most cards in the market just kind of slide right back up. The rare popular meta ones. So keep a close eye on this team today. And that would go for out of pack specials as well that have flown, obviously, right? Shulman is almost 600K right now. That's mad how expensive he is. De Jong is going back up. Trent Alexander Arnold is going back up from Total Rush team at number one. Team two of Total Rush. Messi is up. Verts is over 500K. Road to the knockout cards, guys, exploded yesterday, too. Garnacho's over 400,000. Araujo's 800K. Uh, Kai Havertz is back at 600K. These cards are absolutely flying as well. If they drop it all today, there could be opportunities to buy into some of them as well. The cards that I would not be buying into would be the golds. Every single Friday, gold cards that are in packs, something new and fresh and hype comes out, and these cards end up dropping. What I would say is, as always on Fridays, take the profit, take the money. If you bought one of these at Rivals Rewards, like let's say Hyunmin Sun was 170,000 coins at Rivals, what is he right now? 190K? I'd just take the free money. He's probably going to be back down to 170, maybe even below that at some point tonight on Friday, or maybe even tomorrow on Saturday or Sunday. When you get those champs game games in, you can buy them at a lower price. So be very careful with the golds. I would expect them to drop. And then really, like I was kind of mentioning, it after that, it just kind of goes based on the hype of the promo today. Um, it comes down to if the promo is hype, then you maybe actually see some other cards in the market drop. If it's not, then some of these Trailblazer Team 1s, some of the other out-of-pack specials, and even icons and heroes could have a little bit of a dip heading around content, but this then just be rising up afterwards. Watch your Bundesliga links and your German links today for, of course, that SBC for Musiala. We'll be watching the Evo very close, and I guess we'll also be seeing if there could be any surprises in terms of the rest of the content drop today. Would EA surprise us with anything? I'm going to probably stack up a couple of 78 doubles. I've got some stuff in the club now since rewards. We'll stack up a couple of those, see if we get lucky today. One last thing I want to check, is the 83.3 going to refresh? Because that refreshed uh, yesterday. No, this SBC goes away, unfortunately. So the RTTK Total Rush upgrade, I do, I do believe, refreshes. That'll be fun to test out one more time. I don't even think that's going to make the fodder market move much, though. But again, I think fodder would be a sell pre-content if you don't want to risk it. And if you do want to risk it, I guess you're looking at the high tier. We do have allegedly coming on Monday still a Puteus Player of the Month. Got to put that out there. High-rated fodder this weekend. I know we've been saying high-rated fodder. Invest, invest. We should be getting ever so close to this finally going up. That was always a long-term investment when we first shouted it. For the 90s, I still have Rodri at 39K, and he's really he's been below 39 or 40,000 coins one time since we shouted that. The time is coming. It's a matter of when, not if. So we'll be watching out for that, but watch out for the content today. Hopefully it's a banger day. EA, drop a great Evo. Surprise us. Bring us all new center attacking mids and center mids that we want to put into our teams with that Jude Bellingham inspired Evo. I will see you guys on the stream today. That link is down below in the description where you can check us out. We'll get in all the content today, watch the market, make some trades, and see what this is game is going to do for us today on a promo Friday. So if you enjoyed this video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan for the account. See you guys in the stream today. Peace out.